Hi, I'm Andy Parkin, Managing Director of SpeedScreed, a multi-award winning company. In this article, I want to take a look at the question of latent removing in calcium sulfate screeds, what the problem is and how to deal with it. So why is there a need for latent removal? Latent plays an important part in flooring installation failures by forming a weak layer on the surface of the screed. Latent forms on all screeds to varying degrees and the action required will depend on the screed type. Calcium sulfates will need latents removed. This is defined by the British standard. Latents can be seen as either a fine layer of dust or extended in depth to several millimetres. Depths can be established by scoring the layer and, me and measuring the distance between that and the aggregate beneath. Special scratch testing equipment can be purchased for this purpose. Can I avoid latent removal? If you leave the latent in place, the risk of the floor failing is high. Any other materials subsequently added to the calcium sulfate screed will be impacted and less effective. Often problems develop over time. If latent removal is not done, the floor will be vulnerable to stresses of traffic and excess stress will be placed on the bond. The floor will eventually fail. The bond will break and there will be a need to undertake potentially expensive remedial work to replace the floor. So how is latent removal done? There are a few recommended methods to remove latent on calcium sulfate screed. The method used always depends on the working environment and what the final floor will be used for. However, whatever method you use, it is essential to remove the latents so that the floor does not fail. Shot blasting. For latents removal, shot blasting remains the fastest and most effective method. The machines come in a range of sizes adaptable to most surfaces and because they are so fast you can clear a lot of area in a short time, making them uh, cost and labour effective. Mechanical planing. This method is used where you have to remove a thicker layer of latents. This uses a machine with a rotating cutters and is also known as concrete planing. Grinding, abrading and scabbling. These are often handheld machines and as such are good for small areas and situations where some degree of precision is needed. Safe and effective latent removal is essential to ensure that the final flooring is stable, hard wearing and to avoid costly remedial work later. When mixing and laying calcium sulfate screed, always bear uh, in mind the problem of latent. It is often easier to avoid the problem than to organise latent removal after the screed is placed. If you would like further information or help, please contact us.